Hi, this is Dusty, and I'm here with my Rug Badger, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to use the Rug Badger, and I'm also going to tell you about how easy it is to do the rest of the cleaning job so you can really get into this highly profitable business of Oriental Rug Care. So, here it goes. Number one, this is the Rug Badger, and you can see we have a, a small rug upside down. This is a, a wool Indo Abasan rug, and we have our rug grit. This is a very special material that we have made for us. It's galvanized, it'll never ever rust. It's made of steel and it's linked. So we'll roll up out of your way so you can keep on using your floor space as a multi use area. You don't have to use it for badgering all the time. You can easily pick this up and roll it out of the way. So what happens, you lay this out on your floor and this will form one inch squares so that when you roll the rug upside down on here, it actually uh, makes closed squares. And this is important because it really holds the dirt down from flying around your shop and, um, and becoming a, a contaminating your work area. So this is the cleanest way that we've been able to figure out how to badger a rug and get the, the dust out. So, this is the rug badger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go one way with it, going right over the edges, and I'm going to show you just how easy this is and it will not pick up the edge of the rug. It will not eat the rug, it will not damage the rug, it will not hurt the fringes, it won't hurt the rug at all, but it will get out the damaging soil. Then I'm going to go the other way and finish off the other end. So, let's get going. I'm going to lower down the handle a little bit here, and then I'm going to rock the machine back so I can turn it very, very simply and easily. This is very easy to do. And here it goes. On we go. Now you can see how easy that is, and now I'm going to show you what you can do if you have one of those really nasty granny rugs that has decades and decades worth of dirt that's crammed into it, impacted into it, and very difficult. All you have to do is just turn the rug badger on with this toggle switch here, and leave it running in one spot. You can leave it running for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you think is going to be right. It won't hurt the rug, but it will get out the damage in the soil. It makes it easy for you so you can walk away from the machine, go do something else, and then come back, and the rug badger will not hurt your client's rugs. So, let's see what came out of this rug. I'm going to roll this back, and I'm going to... I'm just going to get rid of the... get rid of the rug here, and I'm going to roll back the grid. And we'll see for ourselves what really comes out of a rug. Now, as you can see, lots of soil came out. This is all grit. This is all the soil that saws away and damages your clients' rugs and shortens their lives by decades. This is the material that so many people are allergic to. This is the soil that your clients think 
you're removing from the rugs. And bottom line, this is a soil your client is actually paying you to remove. And now you can. The rug badger will remove the soil for you. So the way you do this, you badger the rug first. It's quick, it's easy, it will remove that soil from your client's rugs, and then you proceed with YCS. And that stands for your cleaning system that you already know and trust. I recommend after badgering, you proceed with either steam cleaning or shampoo, whatever you have, but use wool safe formulas. You want to do your bleed tests. You want to make sure that it's not a shrinker. There's some precautions you take, but it really is very easy. And I, um, I know dozens of people all over the world that are doing this very, very successfully without investing many thousands of dollars into big, expensive, cumbersome machinery. The point is to grab hold of this opportunity now and get into the lucrative rug cleaning business because the rug care market is exploding right now and most people in most communities can only go to a carpet cleaner that says they're a rug expert, but you could be that rug expert. Nobody that doesn't have a rug bag, they can't remove this. Only a rug badger can do this. It sets up harmonic vibration deep into the back of the rug. It literally, it empties out the rug just really the same way as taking a garbage can, shaking it upside down, getting it out. Ordinary carpet cleaning just works from the top. It's trying to suck down into the carpet and pull up and does the best job it can, but it, it can't get this out. The rug badger will. So, what you would do after you badger the rug is you're going to shampoo or steam clean. Wool we'll safe formulas, hang it to dry. If you don't have hangers, you can flat dry. Put fans down, let it flat dry. Detail up the fringes, and once you're done, inspect the rug. Now, if it's not perfect, you can steam clean again. If it is perfect, well, then you're finished. Then you can send a beautiful, clean, soft, fluffy rug back to your clients and get paid handsomely for it. My own rug cleaning plant, we charge $3 a square foot for cleaning wool rugs. But with the extras, with the repairs, we don't even do the repairs. We actually sub that all out. It's easy to find people that will do the repairs for you. Um, but you have repairs, you have pad, which you can double or triple your money on very, very easily. Then there's odor control treatments that you can do. There's moth control. Um, and then, of course, our favorite is always the protection finishes. But when we have those on, which so many people want, we're up to over $7 a foot and it's very, very lucrative. And people will pay good money to have their rugs cared for properly. Even cheaper rugs. And the reason I'm saying that is so many people do have cheap rugs and not worth a lot of money, but they love their rug. They don't want to have to replace it. So they will pay good money to have it cared for properly. And this is your opportunity right now to seize that opportunity and become go-to expert in your town. So, if you have any questions about the rug badger, about the opportunity of special rug care, please email me or call me on my 800 phone line. I'm here to help you get more of a rug.